preview. Okay, we've got a little bit of uh, Frog Martin on the log. See how that goes in the new old state pipe. Just opened up the tent of Frog Martin on a log and uh, the first pull, it sure cracked the can lid. Uh, I think I've heard people describe this and uh, you can smell it right from standing up, right out of the can. Uh, it does have like a, I think someone described it once as a ketchup smell. It does have like a vinegar ketchup smell. So, all right, let's see how that goes. I was trying to film opening it up, totally missed it. Hmm, this one went out. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio in uh, Django. Feels like I'm getting too much air. Now I think I know why I got this pipe for cheap. Too many problems this morning already. So I wanted to talk about my experiences at the uh, first few pipe shops I've been to. I'm going to try to talk a little louder today. It's kind of an overcast day, it's supposed to be cloudy all day. It's Tuesday. Just like Frogmorton. Uh, my first shop was a, I got a coffee mustache. My first shop was a, I guess you'd call it a cigarette store. But they sell hookahs and they sell probably bongs, I would guess. Maybe not. Uh, and some pipe stuff. So I went in just to check out prices, check out stuff. And um, stuff doesn't seem to want to light. It might be the new uh, tobacco. Might be a pipe. Two new things at once. I don't know if that's a no-no. Anyways, I go in, I ask the guy if he has a tin for a tin of tobacco, and the guy looked at me like I was crazy. He had no idea what I was talking about. This is a guy that works at a tobacco store doesn't know what I'm talking about anyways he, he mentioned something else that might have sounded like it could have been in a tin I don't know what it was um, but they didn't have any tins big disappointment there um, the only thing with shopping online is I like to I don't like to pay shipping, so anytime I shop, I want to make everything all at once. Kind of has to be a calculated buy, because um, I might buy something and then the next day find something. So uh, that's what's good about walking in a store. Anyways, I got a. This sucks. I'm gonna have to hold a lighter on it the whole time. Um, I go in a week later after I buy my tobacco. And as for uh, a pipe softy bit, and they didn't have them, never sold them. So, really, if you don't like aromatics, my closest tobacco store uh, has nothing for you. Um, so then we're driving 
uh, to this big hunting store and there's a pipe shop. I think it said something about pipes on the sign. They had their canisters of uh, hand blended, I don't know, probably not hand blended, I don't know, blended tobacco in the window, which I don't think that's a good spot for it if it's right in the window, right in the sun. Um, but they had pipes on the walls, uh, kind of neat to see versus just looking on the internet and seeing a uh, little thumbnail of what a pipe would look like or on eBay. Um, uh, and that's where I got my softy bit. It was uh, $4 for two. Kind of generic. So I have another pipe and it's got a custom stem and that thing is huge. I'm not going to be able to get that softy bit over the stem. I'm going to have to think of something else. Uh, this one I figure I'm not going to put a softy bit on because it's just going to be a, a little handheld guy. Just like the top doesn't, it's not going down or anything. I got to probably maybe really light this guy up. There she goes. Anyways, it's kind of neat. Guy was like, can I help you with anything? And I was like, ah, not really, I guess. I, I think they had one English blend. Um, who knows? So, I live by, by a pretty big town and uh, I thought I'd go online and see what there was. There's a couple places, um, kind of like I think what's near me, a little cigarette tobacco place. So I, I go on the internet and um, there's one called The Tobacconist Shop and I'm like, that's gotta be it. And uh, there's gotta be, you know, something good around here. So I go in after work, put some money in the meter, go down this really uh, cool archway. It's, uh, it's a shop, but when you come out of the shop, it's still kind of inside. This is pretty good. It tastes like incense. It's it's definitely smoother than last, and uh, I don't think I'm anything gurgly is going to come up this stem. Yeah, it's good. Um, awesome looking from the outside. It's got it's like a shave shop with uh, barber stuff. Got straight razors. I took a picture. It's got um, just one picture. It'd be cool to, to see what uh, film the shop. See what other people have uh, film their shops too. Yeah, you don't want to inconvenience the customers, and you probably want to find out what's going on with whether they would allow it first off. But put a little GoPro on and do some uh, first-hand views. Now it's gonna get windy. Um, Really just old shop. It's like you walked into a Turkish, an old Turkish, right out of Indiana Jones movie. Just what you would expect. Smoke in the air. Uh, leather chairs right as you walk in. Guys are smoking, a couple guys. Um, cashier just looked as weird as you could ever imagine. Uh, so you got the barbershop on one side, tobacco all lined up and jars along the back. I think he had like an upstairs. And then on the other side, a case full of Peterson's. So I got my first first hand look at nice quality pipe. Very impressed of what I saw. So I just know that uh, it's a whole nother level out there. Uh, and behind it, they had uh, a case full of different um, tin tobacco. So I knew I was going to be happy. Um, see now the first place, the cig uh, cigarette place, they had, I think all their tobacco was like $3 for an ounce. From what I saw on the internet, that's pretty normal. And um, the whole thing about pipe smoking is the tobacco is supposed to be the cheap part. 
uh, especially if you're an old guy. I mean, you're working with old prices back then. Uh, I thought you were expecting cheap. Same with coffee, man. You people expect cheap Folgers. The amount of work that uh, it takes to get those beans to make one of those big 120 serving sized uh, canisters for five bucks, unbelievable. Back to the story, they had uh, early morning Dunhill and uh, the nine, number one, the nine, six, seven, the nine, sixty-eight. Uh, and there was no prices, so I asked the guy how much. This is good. And uh, I think it was like $9 an ounce or something like that. Shocking. Uh, but everything said, free sample, uh, literally everything, take a sample, uh, which I was just running in and out. I, I wouldn't want one there anyways. Especially when I've never smoked a pipe before. Look at their tens, literally all their tens were nineteen ninety nine. Literally all their tens were the price of the pipes that I had purchased, which is just crazy to think that you're going to pay as much for a couple enjoyments of uh, tobacco as you are a for a pipe even though it's a cheap pipe still my coffee maker probably only cost me 20 bucks uh anyways this frog morton and it's just the two ounce the 50 mgs the 50 milligrams um same price as all their tins so I thought I'd seen, I already knew what the price was on the internet. Um, shocked. I was shocked by the price. Um, but I figured I was there. Cool shop. Loved the experience. Uh, I didn't want to walk away empty handed. Um, figured, you know, maybe I'd save at least something. I'm not paying shipping. But too much money. I'll never go back there. If I go back, it's just a look. But this is pretty good. This this changes everything. This is a lot better than that rum and uh, maple. And it doesn't um, doesn't lose whatever it started out with. Although now I'm getting a little bit of that uh, liquid. I don't know. So the first shop, I was I might have been the only customer. Or maybe there's one guy who's looking at cigarettes. The guy just kind of stood behind the counter the whole time. Uh, the second shop, it was like the guy was on the phone, but I mean, he would have helped me, I guess. And then the third shop, I could have swore I heard the guy, one of the customers that was sitting on the uh, armchair smoking, um, said something like, wow, anybody, pretty much anybody smokes a pipe these days. I don't know. I think that's what I heard. It kind of made me angry. I am um, super tall. And I literally hear it every day. Anytime I go out in public. Uh, and then if I'm around kids. I just hear them whispering. Not that I care. But when it's every day for years. I don't know. It's just, uh, I'm right there, you know, it's like talking behind my back, I guess. Well, this doesn't seem to be going down. So, just wanted to kind of tell my three different um, brick and mortar stories from a new Piper's perspective, new pipe for me, new tobacco for me today, all new, new. Uh, I wanted to film with my new camera, but I think it's just going to be a hassle. I can't see what's on the screen. I wish I could. I probably could hook it up to the computer and see somehow. Um, it's getting a little windy out here. I kind of feel like, uh, like I'm a boxer waiting for my cut man in this corner. Uh, 
that's about it. The pipe's getting a little warm. It, it's a good pipe. Uh, you know, it's small, but heck, I already got enough um, puffs out of it. What is this? It's just cool. I wish it was bigger. But looking on the uh, the Django Leonardo DiCaprio, I mean, sweet looking. Just the costumes in that movie are worth a watch. Everybody looks uh, amazing. Same with uh, the Kevin Costner movie that's on Netflix right now. Django's on, I think, Netflix right now. Netflix is awesome. Because anything that you see and you watch, you can just say, uh, you kind of assume people have Netflix. And you can just say, it's on Netflix, so go watch it. Um, the Hatfields and McCoys. Um, interesting. I, I, it's neat because it's an entertainment and you feel like you're learning something at the same time. Uh, when I was a kid, Bugs Bunny, I think, would do kind of a McCoy skit. Uh, lots of talk about this stuff when I was younger. So you kind of want to know about it when you get older. Anyways, um, I just got done with part one and part two, and that's where the devil ants comes from. That's uh, the main Kevin Costner's, uh, I guess, nickname is devil ants. Um, and that, that's also what they named this little tiny pipe. He literally has that pipe in his mouth at all times. He had a choice between the one he picked, the little, now it's called devil ants, and a, a corn cob. Uh, I'm sure people are glad he picked what he picked. But the visuals in that movie are spectacular. They're awesome. So, uh... All right, this video is long enough. I'll, I'm going to edit it, so. Uh, all right. Tiki out. So anyways, I uh, this morning got up and uh, turned on YouTube while I was still in bed. I got the day off today. I do work. Oh my gosh, coffee. Drug of choice. Although, let me say, this nicotine, it, uh, I've had a couple cigars. Probably last year, all the cigars I had were, uh, like pencils. And, uh, this doesn't look like much. It literally gives me a feeling of being drunk. And I think that's nicotine. I'm not the kind of guy that drinks much, so literally one wine cooler could do it to me, too. I could take a gym pre-workout, not feel a thing. Anyways, woke up this morning, and uh, Jeremy Larson. Jeremy Larson gave me a shout-out this morning on his, on his channel. He's going to get his 100 ounces of Diet Mountain Dew. What he said... His co-workers are all uh, jealous of his mug. Just got to show you my mug. World's biggest Starbucks mug. Oh yeah. I don't know how many ounces this is. It's probably a thousand ounces. I don't know. Alright. Have a good day, YouTube.